This is a very exciting time in cystic fibrosis. There's a wide range of therapies that are being developed that target the underlying defect. For example, uh, there's gene therapy that is uh, being tested uh, for uh, CF patients. This is very exciting because this is potentially a gene independent, uh, a mutation independent treatment which could be applicable to all patients. So that would be very exciting. Uh, a second approach that is being taken is to actually edit the RNA. The, the mutant RNA that's made by the, uh, from the DNA can actually be changed to a normal sequence and uh, it would produce normal CFTR protein. This is a, uh, an approach that could also be independent of the mutation that you have, so applicable to all CF patients. And then uh, a third approach uh, is new drugs that target the protein, the mutant protein uh, that, uh, that occurs in CF. Uh, and these are new uh, drugs that are uh, in early phase uh, testing, but which may have increased activity compared to what we have available now, and this is very exciting. What we know of CF is a progressive disease, and the hope is with these, uh, with these new approaches, we can sort of halt the rate of progression for patients who already have a moderate or severe disease. But what's really exciting to think about is that if you have uh, a child with CF and you can start these approaches at a very early age, you may actually prevent or significantly delay the complications that can develop. So you would need fewer hospitalizations, you have fewer daily symptoms, maybe the, the time you needed to treat yourself on a daily basis would be significantly diminished. So that's really the exciting part of these approaches. If you are interested in learning more about what treatments are available uh, in uh, clinical trials, you can do one of two things. You can talk to your physician um, at your accredited center, or you can also go to the CFF.org website and look at the development pipeline.